Only on 7 tonight, a squatting nightmare. A landlord takes us inside his battle with people moving into homes that are not theirs. He says they've invaded several places he owns or manages. One ended up in flames. 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner is on Westphalia Street on Detroit's east side with a first-hand look at the problem. The property management company asked us to meet them at this house to confront the squatters. Show us the electricity. How's it on there? Take a look at the electric meter on the back of the house. The power is off. The man and woman here told me they have a lease to live here. Show me the lease and I'll leave. But this couple said they were going to wait for the authorities to sort this out. So the landlord and I both called police. Unless I tell the police you're here. They're probably not going to come for hours. He showed us pictures on his cell phone where he's called police to remove squatters too many times. After we called, the lady drove off and the man here walked off. You waiting for the police? You waiting for the police? I thought you're going to wait for the police. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. After that, I called 911 a second time. And we just had a physical confrontation. I'll get you over to a supervisor, sir. Hold on. Within minutes, the first car arrives, lights and siren, then another unit, then another, and finally a supervisor. The landlord says this could have all been avoided. I'll give you $200. Just give me the keys. Get the hell out of my house because I didn't want him to steal my furnace. He gave us these pictures from another house. He says when the squatters were forced out, they torched it. If we pay one set of squatters, then they're going to be in another house and then they're going to want that. You get that rep. He says in the suburbs of Detroit, police arrest squatters. Here, they had no lease to show police. They were told to get out. Their friends from down the street started moving their stuff. He should be arrested because if he's not arrested and he goes to that house there, this house will be firebombed tonight or tomorrow night. Police said they will drive by to keep watch. He's going to be sitting there laughing when we come here, boarding it up with our tails between our legs. It happens over and over. Police tell us they're not making any arrests. They don't have any previous criminal records, but they will get tickets to appear in court downtown. On the east side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank you.